think the vision of the RCIA at its most basic level is that process of welcoming people into the church from every experience, from every walk of life, from other religious experiences, from other ecclesial communities, or from no religious experience. And that's part of the challenge for us, uh, is that we're welcoming people who come with a variety of needs and are a great variety of stories. Early on in the introduction, it, it talks about it being a gradual process, but that would help us understand that this is not a one-size-fits-all. It talks about a spiritual journey. By definition, a journey would imply that it's not going to be the same for all people. The most important task, the most important goal of this process is making disciples and conversion, conversion, conversion. And if we believe that conversion is coming from somewhere else and becoming Catholic and it happened and now it's done, well, that's not the year-round catechumenate, but it's also not our Christian walk. If, on the other hand, we embrace that conversion is a lifelong journey that every single one of us is on, then the natural outflow from that has to be a year-round catechumenate. It sinks to the never-ending process of our own journey, and it just allows those who come to us to enter into it. The year-round model is going to be helpful for the people embracing the process because it helps them move at their own pace wherever they are on their faith journey. The school year model kind of undermines what our CIA envisions. It puts people more on a conveyor belt where they will start in one month and they will all get off at the last train stop. It really is not a relational model, whereas the year-round model embraces the possibility of everybody moving wherever they are on their faith journey, of truly being accompanied, and truly having this be a relational process. The year-round model supports the vision because it, it strives to meet people where they're at and when they come to us. Paragraph number eight talks about the entire process being uh, rooted in the Paschal mystery of Jesus Christ, his life, death, and resurrection. The year-round model supports that in that in one complete liturgical cycle, the entire mystery of Jesus from his birth, his life, his death, resurrection, and the sending of the Spirit is proclaimed and manifest in the Sunday Eucharistic liturgy. It takes an entire year to celebrate his life. And that's what we're initiating them into, the Paschal mystery of Jesus that is proclaimed and manifested in liturgy. If we can get the folks we serve and we minister to, to incorporate the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus into their lives each and every day, we've given them the best gift we can possibly give them.